Every summer, waterfowlers anticipate the numbers coming from the waterfowl surveys done by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Canadian Wildlife Service. The results are in now and show a strong result. In fact, we are seeing some of the best years we've ever seen. This year, we did see a bit of a decline in the total duck numbers, but overall, the numbers remain very strong. We're seeing good numbers similar to last year in seven of the top 10 species. One increased. We saw increase in American widgeon, which is really good news. Unfortunately, we saw declines in scop and blue-winged teal. And in particular, scop are seeing a well below the long-term average and below the goals of the North American Waterfowl Management Plan. There are many factors that can affect your local success in waterfowling. Weather in particular plays a big role in whether you'll have a great year this coming year. We're all excited about these numbers, but we all also have to remember to be concerned and vigilant relative to the habitat conditions that underlie these wet conditions. And in fact, we need to continue and, and frankly redouble our efforts in habitat conservation. We continue to see loss of wetlands and grasslands throughout the range of these, of these species. And if we're not careful, future years will not see the kinds of numbers we see this year. So it's up to all of us to continue the effort to build and protect, restore these habitats that are so important to waterfowl so that we can see these numbers in future wet years. The wet year that's gonna generate lots of birds in the flyways this year, we've gotta see that for future generations as well.